folks, welcome on back into VG Emporium, or if this is your first time, welcome on into VG Emporium, video game music and more. I'm the proprietor of this fine establishment, Rage Cage, and today we got special orders! More special orders! So for you first timers that are wondering what a special order is, it's basically just a song request! And how this works is that uh, you can send your special order over to VG Emporium at gmail.com, or if you find, you know, you can get to the Discord link, you can go to the special orders channel there and drop it there, or on Twitter or Instagram, and you can, and, you know, message me or just drop a comment thing there, you know, however you want to do it, get it to me, and I'll play it. I get five or six of them, and I'll do its own dedicated episode, just like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna say that the orders I got in today are pretty meaty, like, they're all, like, four up minutes long, basically. So, getting right into it, the song that we opened up with was Can You Feel the Sunshine, Family Tracker Cover. And the song is originally from Sonic R, and it was composed by Richard Jacques, and the, uh, you know, the lyrics that are from the original version, performed by TJ Davis. And then this cover was done by Emilgi Iglima. And the special order is coming in appropriately from Martyrus, my buddy Marty, who, if you listened to my uh, last week's episode, was my guest. And where we talked about chiptune remixes of modern video game music. Which is, uh, you know, the thing he does because his, he runs a podcast called Reby Gem, which is a podcast about music that has been remixed, rearranged, reorchestrated, you know, covered, what have you. So it's like, he'll play the original track and then play a remix that he's found of it. So, of course, he ordered in a, a chiptune remix of another song here, though it's not exactly the one he special ordered. But I'd have to say this is a win because the one that did come in is actually a superior product. So I'm gonna get in a little bit into the nitty gritty of what's going on with this one. This is a, uh, of course, a Family Tracker cover. So and it's using the uh, Base 2A03 sound chip. But now you may be wondering, what's all that extra sound I'm hearing? This is not the NES sound. Well, that is the N163, and this fella is using all eight channels of it. It's a uh, you know wavetable synthesis, so it'd be more akin to something you'd hear coming from the PC Engine or uh, the TurboGrafx-16 as we know it here in the states. So now about the song that this is covering, it is basically the song most people probably think of when they think of Sonic R. You know, it's basically it's Green Hill Zone. And Sonic R is a racing game that was on the Sega Saturn, whereas uh, you're not racing in cars, you're actually running! Running against other people's! Yes, you're doing what Sonic does best, which is running all over the courses, and it's wonky, kind of janky, but it's fun. I never played it, but, you know, from what I've seen of it, it is looks like just one of those games that's just about having stupid fun. And that's all Sonic really is supposed to be, is just stupid fun! I mean, it's not supposed to be taken seriously, I mean, it's a blue hedgehog that runs fast. I mean... It's how, so how much seriously I know I know there's a lot of story to this especially in the comics and whatnot but still it's not supposed to be taken so seriously so get just lighten up folks now before I go any further though um, I want to mention the uh, the arranger of this uh, Amilgi Iglima um, I don't know anything about them I've actually found this off a uh, you know the uh, VGM Oslo which is a channel on YouTube that does VGM or um, oscilloscope you know, visuals of uh, VGM that are chipped, so they get the module, they'll run it through the oscilloscope, they'll play it, and they just mentioned who the uh, composer is, or the arranger. I can't find who they are, or I can't find the links anything, so if you know who you are and you hear this, let me know! Give me all your links so I can let people know where to find you, because uh, this is actually really good. So now, speaking of games that are not meant to be taken seriously whatsoever, um, our next special order in is coming from Haberchuk, and this is Cyber Slide from Twisted Metal. This is composed by one or all of these guys, Chuck E. Myers, Tom Hopkins, and or Lance Lenhart.
and that was Cyber Slide from Twisted Metal, composed by all or one of these fellas here, and that is Chucky Myers, Tom Hopkins, and or Lance Lenhart. And this is special ordered in by Haberchuk. And so this song is actually the theme of the stage called Assault on Cyberbia, which is the biggest level in the entire game. You have up to eight different enemies that you're facing, and you're just going through this suburban hellscape. Well, it's not a hellscape, but, you know, you get it. It's all green. It's all uniform. Basically a hellscape. And you're going through car, you know, school parking lots, suburbia, doing all this stuff, just blowing up other cars and enemies. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a crazy fun time. And, yes, the fellow who ordered this in, Haberchuk, I believe this is uh, Chuck specifically of the Haberchuk duality. You know, Haberchuk is a group that makes a lot of music, though I know Chuck specifically is a chiptunist. It makes a lot of really good, chip, like, uh, FM chiptune stuff, like, uh, and copious amounts of it. A lot of it. It's crazy how much they're able to make. I'm kind of flabbergasted. And I'm going to be linking their SoundCloud and their Twitter because I, I'd say you give them a follow and listen to their music because it's all really good. And so now this game, Twisted Metal, What Madness Has Been Wrought. This was one of those uh, launch titles of the PS1, I believe, back in 1995. Yes, 1995! It is a dystopian vehicular battle royale, whereas you get to choose up to nine or eight different, you know, of different characters, and you go around and you blow up other cars! You know, you have a cab, you have an ice cream truck, you have a guy on a motorcycle, you have a guy in a giant, like, wheel thing, he's all, like, Vitruvian manned up in it, but it's, it's weird. This game is strange and crazy, and... A uh, ridiculously fun time. And I uh, get this, get this. All right, this is uh, this game. The story of this game takes place on Christmas Eve of 2005. Let that sink in. And then, of course, down the years, as was the trend, they took this ridiculously stupid, just silly game and tried to make it dark and serious and brooding. And, uh, you know, it just kind of died. It went away. Goodbye bye. But now I got you right here a nice tonal pivot from our spe next special order coming in from Pocket Ellery. This is coming from the arrangement album called Sega Power Cuts 1, and this is St. Gabriel's Mask from Echo the Tides of Time, and this was done by Spencer Nilsson and Gary Ciramilli. <laughs>
That was St. Gabriel's Mask, Vocal Remix, which is an arrangement of the same original track, St. Gabriel's Mask, from the game Echo the Dolphin, Tides of Time. It was originally composed by Spencer Nilsson and arranged for this album by Spencer Nilsson, along with the help of Gary Ciramilli. And this is from the Sega Power Cuts 1, which is an arrangement album by the Sega Music Group. And this is special ordered in by Pocket Ellery. And I'm starting to feel like there's going to be a pattern here of Pocket Ellery special ordering in these uh, vocal tracks. Because in the last of special orders, they had ordered in a uh, song from Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on the Sega CD, and that was some butt rock madness, so... We'll see. And I could definitely say that um, this song is, uh, uh, better is too strong a word, um, more tolerable than Swing Time. Definitely more tolerable. But in the case with both these songs, uh, my wife just kind of looked at me and just wondered, like, you know, why are you listening to these things? Why is anybody listening to these things? You know, she didn't say that, but, you know, she kind of got this look when she heard these, you know. So the uh, moving on to talking about Echo the Dolphin and, um, you know, it's one of those quintessential Sega Genesis games. Um, it was pretty obtuse for a little Rage Cage, a little AJ, when he was playing it. So I haven't actually ever played it proper. I probably never will go back to playing it. Um, I don't know. I understand it. It is a really, really cool game. Uh, you know, the music is really atmospheric. You know, a really good use of the Gems engine, which I'm about due to do a second uh, Gems Jams because I have come across a few that are uh, really, really good, surprisingly, for... Because, you know, if anybody remembers playing Sega Genesis back in the day, a lot of games that were made by um, U.S. Studios or, you know, any Western studio used that sound engine. And a lot of them were not great sounding, but there are some examples of it being used well. And if you'd like to hear some of these examples, go back to VG Emporium, Episode 3. Yes, Episode 3, Gems Jams. But enough advertisement here. Uh, let's get on to our next special order. And this is coming in from another regular, Crazy Goji. And this is Lubricating Shot. Uh, but um, another name I heard for this was uh, Wadabudi Computing KS. And this is coming from Bangayo Spirits. And this is composed by Norio Hanzawa. was Lubricating Shot, or Wadabudi Computing KS, from 
Bankayo Spirit composed by Norio Hanzawa, and this was special ordered in by Crazy Goji. Also known as Thing Gojira, thanks to a little something called uh, not wanting to pay for SoundCloud Pro, which, uh, you know, some of us don't want to do. You know, I haven't made as much music as uh, Crazy Goji has to warrant to make a second account, but when I get to that point, I, I definitely will, because, um, you know, I don't... I just don't like the idea of having to pay a yearly subscription for to have more space to share my music. And we're not alone in this. I know this for a fact. So now, Bangayo Spirits. It is the sequel to the much beloved uh, game Bangayo, which was originally released on the N64 and then ported to the Dreamcast. And in this game, you play as Riki and his sister Mami as they pilot a weaponized mech through many stages. And uh, it's uh, multi-directional, so it's not like a side-scrolling or a vertical shooter. It's all over the place. And uh, this game gets pretty crazy because in the original release on the N64, you could have up to 100 projectiles that could be shot from the mech. But in the Dreamcast version, that got updated to 400. And this carries over into the sequel, Bangayo Spirits, whereas you have 160 stages to play through and you get to your choice of two different EX weapons, which, uh, you know, one can be like a super powered blast or can unleash a multitude of projectiles. And being developed by Treasure, you know it's going to be a manic, tight, fun time. And these are a set of games I unfortunately have not played yet, but uh, these are ones that I do definitely want to try out at some point. Because I do love me some treasure, and it would be really cool to see, um, you know, actual treasure collection come out. I mean, like a treasure trove, if you will. Though that one's already taken by Shovel Knight. But any, in any case, you know, a treasure collection would be amazing on the Switch. I could, uh, I could definitely see it. You know, letting more people beyond enthusiasts actually get to play these, like, you know, amazing games that Treasure has made, as well as hear all the awesome music made by the Treasure Sound Team with Nori Hanzawa being one of the bigger names in that team. And, you know, all the soundtracks that they have done are just crazy. Like, you know, Gunstar Heroes, Alien Soldier, Bangayo, Astro Boy on the Game Boy Advance, Wario World, and even this game that I did not know exist until a few weeks ago, Panic Stretch, which was brought to me by Purnell of Rhythm and Pixels because he was my guest on the show a few weeks ago. Insert plug here. That would be Episode 60, Bargain Bin Games. So this special order is coming from Purnell, and this is... Midboss from Dragon Slayer on the PC Engine CD, and it was composed by Ryo Yonimitsu specifically for this version of the game.
and that was Midboss from Dragon Slayer The Legend of Heroes, the PC Engine CD version, and it was composed by Ryo Yonimitsu, and this was special ordered in by Purnell, most likely in response to the episode 58 that I did called Field, AU Densets, where I covered various versions of Field from the game Dragon Slayer The Legend of Heroes. And get Damn, I'm getting more and more into these Redbook audio songs. I mean, just these arrangements are crazy. And uh, in the case of most Redbook audio games, they have like a, you know, like a definite end to the songs. But in this case, I was able to find a loop point so I could have it loop indefinitely. Haha, I win. You, you, you don't win this time, Redbook audio. I win. I am the victor. And you are just audio named after a book that happens to be red. But in any case, if you want to know more about this game and this uh, particular arranger and the, comp and the original composer, go check out that episode 58. I go... Pretty in depth on these things. But more about this song, you know, I just love that distorted lead that starts this song off, and then like just the synth horn stabs that go on, and then just the crazy like snare fills that happen, and that uh, guitar solo. That's something, isn't it? God, oh, you gotta like those guitar solos. That's uh, that's a tasteful guitar solo right there. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But uh, I, you know. One thing I do know is uh, I'm thankful to everybody who put a special order in for this episode. Aha! Good transition right there. Oh, I did a great job. Did you see that? That's how it's done. That's how you do a transition. Wait a minute. Who am I talking to? There's nobody else here in the shop with me today. Ugh. Thank you to my podcast bro, Martyrus of ReVGM Podcast, Chuck of Haber Chuck, Pocket Ellery, Crazy Goji, and Pernell of Rhythm Pixels, Thank you all for your special orders. And it's always awesome to see these repeat customers coming in, you know, putting in their orders, but I'd like to see some new names on that uh, special order form. So please do send your special orders to vgmporium at gmail.com um, in the special orders channel on the Discord, which you can find in the link on the show notes and on the main website, vgmporium.wordpress.com. And then you can also find VG Emporium at, you know, Twitter and Instagram, and you can, you know, shoot a message to me there or on the comments, what whatnot. And then for you regular listeners, you know, you probably already listen to me on your uh, whatever podcatcher you like. But uh, tell new folks, tell them that you can find them on Spotify, Apple, Google, Audible, Amazon, Stitcher, and then whichever thing services pull from any of those. And hey, come back on next week because I have another guest coming in. Who is it, you may ask? Well, that's Daryl Bowers, the last Recon, the commissioner of BGM Fight Club, Senpai's Playlist, and Uimatsuplex. And what is he bringing in with him? Well, you'll have to find out next week. Um, just to let you know, you know, he's got a pretty big personality, so that's probably going to give you a clue right there. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, this coming Sunday, March 26th, I'm actually uh, being featured on Nerd Noise Radio, hosted by St. John's. And if you're unfamiliar with Nerd Noise Radio, um, how he does it, he has two channels. He does Channel 1, Channel 2. Channel 2 is like a, like my show, you know, talking and music. And then Channel 1, he presents like a radio program, which is called Noise from the Hearts of Nerds. And on Channel 1, he'll occasionally do something called Scene Sunday, where he'll feature some, somebody part of the music scene, which, you know, either chiptune, demo scene, what have you. And for some bizarre reason, he wanted to feature all my original music that I have done within the past 10 years. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a pretty cool thing. And so, again, that is this coming Sunday, March 26th, on Nerd Noise Radio. And you can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, as well as to directly go to the site, nerdnoiseradio.podbean.com. Now, as to whether you're going to like what you hear or not, um, I can't guarantee, but, um, you know, anyway, thank you again for coming into VG Emporium. And again, please, send in your special orders. Don't hold back. <laughs>